the sniper rifles in Battlefield 1, more specifically the sweet spots on the rifles that can kill in one shot providing you hit the enemy in the upper torso and are within a certain distance range of the target. Recently Simthic.com released all of the stats for the weapons and with those we can see the damage and range numbers and they reveal some very interesting things about the scout class rifles that you can use to adjust your playstyle and become a more effective scout player. As far as I can tell there are 11 scout class rifles in the game that can kill in one upper torso shot in the sweet spot area. These are as follows, the Gewehr 98 Infantry Sniper and Marksman, the SMLE Infantry Carbine and Marksman, the Martini Henry, the M1903 Sniper and Marksman and the Russian 1895 Infantry and Sniper. To quickly demonstrate if you don't understand, have a look at this image from Simdic.com. This is for the Gewehr 98 Marksman. At 80 meters, the 100 damage sweet spot begins and then it ends at 120 meters. And here is an in game demonstration of that for those that enjoy visual aid. My friend here, Jack Frags1, is on a flag about 88 meters away. I then hit him in the upper torso and you'll see that I kill him in one shot with enemy hit 100 damage at the bottom. And that's because 88 meters is in that sweet spot zone for this particular rifle which is 80 to 120 meters. And I don't have to headshot him to kill him in one hit if he's on full health. Pretty straightforward really, but knowing and learning each scout class rifle sweet spot can really have a big effect on your killing potential in game. Of course if you're just banging headshots left right and centre then maybe it doesn't matter to you so much, but obviously you want to do as much damage as you possibly can and sometimes a headshot isn't always an option or a much harder shot to make. Before we dive in here, over time you will learn intuitively how far roughly away you are from a target if you play a lot, but if you want to know distances quickly you can use objectives, just look at them and it will tell you in meters how far away you are from something and you can then use that as a reference. With that said, we're going to go through each one shot rifle now and take a look at their sweet spots. First up is the Martini Henry, possibly the best sounding gun in the game. It's got a long reload time but it's an excellent choice for close quarters aggressive PTFO recon play. The sweet spot range for the Martini starts at 30 meters which is the shortest out of all of them and it ends at 80 meters so you've got 50 meters of sweet spot to play with there. At the moment the Martini is probably my favourite scout rifle because it fits really well with my particular aggressive playstyle. In that sweet spot range you're going to be one banging people with easy torso shots and even if you don't do the full 100 damage and you tag them for say 90, quickly switching to your pistol to finish them off is an excellent tactic. This thing is so powerful up close that I rarely even bother aiming for the head. It's just a better solution for me to go for that torso shot and roll the dice, pun intended. Next up are the SMLE Infantry, Carbine and Marksman variants. They've all got the same sweet spot range but obviously different sights and slightly different stats in recoil, spread decrease etc. But we're not looking at that just now. So for these three SMLE variants, the sweet spot starts at 40 meters and ends at 75. Not much of a window there is there but the SMLE fires fast and it packs a punch. Also, you've got 10 rounds in a magazine. It's the close to medium range all around rifle in my opinion and you can get really, really good with this thing if your target acquisition is on point. I find the carbine version to be my personal favourite. It's excellent at holding a defensive line at closer ranges, using that 40 meter start for the sweet spot to its best advantage, or sweeping out of some cover, popping a few bad guys off and then moving away for a reload. Even in close quarters built up areas, because of how fast you can rechamber around, you've got so much damage potential. And of course you can get the gold Lawrence of Arabia skin for it, which is quite simply balling out of control. Moving on now to the Russian 1895 infantry and sniper variants, another very fast firing set of rifles. The 100 damage sweet spot for these two starts at 60 meters and ends at 100 meters, making this the perfect medium range scout rifle. It's got a mag size of 5 though, so if you want to play it close to medium range with this thing, don't fluff your shots, just take your time when you break from movement and pop out a shot. It's the infantry variant of this rifle that I love the most though. I don't know whether that's the fact it looks like a cowboy gun or something about the iron sights, but I can just go on absolute tears with it. And if I position myself well, I find myself hitting that sweet spot distance and getting one hit kill body shots quite frequently. It's probably my second go-to scout rifle if I'm not feeling the slow reload of the Martini. 
Our penultimate scout rifle is the Gewehr 98, and the one hit kill sweet spot variants are the Infantry, Sniper and Marksman. This rifle just looks badass, and DICE have absolutely nailed the animations on it. It's just so cool to use sometimes. The sweet spot for these three variants starts at 80 meters and ends at 120, so you're starting to get into long range territory now, especially if you're using the Marksman or Sniper and want to nail those one hit kill upper torso shots. The Marksman version is my personal favourite, I love the crosshair on it and as far as I know you don't get scope glint when you zoom in either, so it's a better stealthier option for long range shooting if you don't want to give your position away. I feel very mobile with the Gewehr even though it's best suited for longer ranges and technically I shouldn't really be saying this as it's a sweet spot video but I find it very easy to get headshots with and that's probably because of the bullet velocity which currently stands as the fastest in class with 880 meters a second and if you want to utilize that one hit kill range of 80 to 120 meters I find this rifle to be most effective when you're overlooking a flag or an objective from let's say an elevated position. You want to stay in that zone and pick targets off before you move on in there to capture or explode whatever it is you want to do. And finally for today, the last one hit kill sweet spot rifles in the scout class are the two variants of the M1903, the Sniper and Marksman. The sweet spot ranges for both of these rifles start at 100 meters and end at 150, so it's got the maximum possible one hit kill a torso shot in the game. This makes the M1903 devastating at longer ranges, especially when you factor in the bullet velocity of 820 meters a second, not that far off the Gewehr. The 1903 is the rifle you want to use at longer ranges, camping out in the mountains, overlooking objectives and shooting at Doritos from far away. That's where you'll be doing the most damage and maybe as a counter sniper option this could be the best bet. As such I don't really see it as a viable PTFO rifle, but if you want to look flashy and nail someone from across the map in one bullet, this one will do the job. Obviously, if you need to go for the headshot and you've got a shot, take it. As with all of the above sniper rifles, headshots will kill in one bullet, no matter what the distance because of that headshot multiplier. Don't forget that. All of the sniper rifles I mentioned in this video will kill with a headshot in one hit, no matter what the distance. All in all, it's obvious that each sweet spot sniper has its ideal engagement ranges, and I really like that. It kind of forces you to adopt different playstyles and pick different weapons depending on the map, game mode, or your personal tactics. There's not really a be all and end all sniper in this game like there's been in previous Battlefield games. My top picks for PTFO play and one shot potential though are the Martini for very close ranges, the 1895 Infantry for mid range, and the Gewehr Marksman for long distance. But again, just my personal preference and your experience and personal taste is the most important thing here. And that's it for today folks, thank you for watching and I hope you found this useful. A big thanks to Simtic.com as well for putting those weapon stats online. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up, that would be amazing. If you didn't, a thumbs down and I'll see you in the next one.